Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. If you don't know me, I'm Katya, and this is my first apartment as a 23-year-old living in New York City. When I first moved out, this is what the apartment looked like. It is a one bedroom. The living room and kitchen are connected, and the bedroom is a separate space. When I started to settle in, I began to gather all my little trinkets to really make this place feel like home. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I'm more of a maximalist, and it's really no different when it comes to my apartment. I had a very specific vision for what I wanted it to look like, and yes, Yes, I made a Pinterest board and yes, I linked it in the description for your viewing pleasure. If you have an apartment aesthetic similar to mine or you just like home decor inspiration, it's a really great resource. I'm not 100% sure what this style of interior design is called, but if you do know, please tell me in the comments because that would make hunting for furniture and decor so much easier. But if I had to boil it down into a few words, I would probably use colorful, maximalist, retro, groovy, and whimsical. This part of the apartment makeover will be mainly about the living room, but I will be making a part two about the bedroom design as well, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Take it away, Pascatia. The first piece of furniture to arrive was my media table, which I put together quite easily, but posing in front of it, now that is something that I clearly could not figure out for the life of me. The next to arrive was my couch, which I was really excited to put together because up until then, my guests and I had been sitting on the floor. So this was a really exciting moment for me. I soon came to realize this was definitely not a one person job and I had to use my arch nemesis, the Allen key. So yeah, it was just as infuriating as it looks to put the legs on this couch. But after all that hard work, it was finally time to test it out. And I thought it was only fair that I reward myself. So I ended up having a photo shoot. Here's how that turned out. Then it was onto the hot pink desk. I love this color, it's so beautiful. This one came mostly assembled, so after I added the legs, it was pretty much ready to go. I'm on my way to Home Depot. My office chair, it's blue and white, but it has some black parts, so I want to paint those purple, but I need spray paint for that. So away we go to Home Depot. This can of spray paint, I've never used it before. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm gonna try to spray paint the wheels and like armrests of it because those are the most obvious. And I'm also hoping that the really light spray paint covers the black. I guess we'll find out together. I did it. I spray painted it. I'm so proud of myself because I really thought I was gonna mess this up. Now all that's left to do is wait. 24 hours later. It's giving America's Next Top Chair. I haven't had anything to eat today, forgive me. Please don't break. Oh, ah! Honestly, is this not giving right now? I really hope I'm recording because if I'm not, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Why does this not look aesthetic at all? I'm literally struggling so much. Screw it into the wrong place so you can't, it's not lined up with the holes. So then you can later unscrew it and think about your failures. I'm focusing too much on making jokes and not enough on building the chair. I guess you could say I'm built different. I think I walked out. That is definitely wrong. Why do I have screws left? <laughs> I painted it for no reason. 
get the shot because I don't have my tripod with me. As a lovely side effect of ordering furniture online, you have to discard all the cardboard and styrofoam that comes with it. I'm gonna try not to break anything else. I'm okay. So I just found a giant <laughs> hairy bug with like a million legs on it. Um, R.I.P. That was a clean break. I keep thinking that I have bugs on me because I saw that one bug. Styrofoam breaking ASMR. The Leaning Tower of Styrofoam. So this lamp basically has these teeny little bulbs that you stick in. Let there be light. Oh, wow. Now it's time to put the feathers in. yesterday it's my rug and I ordered a bunch of prints that were in the same color scheme and I put them together in Photoshop so I could see what it would look like beforehand. Hopefully it'll also match the rug. It'll look so pretty. So a bit of a change in plans. I took down the print wall and I'm putting it back up using frames. I just finished framing the last two, so I'm going to put those back up now and then we can tour the apartment. A few moments later. I'm finally ready to show you what the living room looks like, so let's get a little tour going. So this is the entryway. It's very simple for now. I just have a single poster and a framed print up here. This is the little entryway table, so it is a almost October right now. That's why I have the spooky decorations up. And then I just have like my go-to shoes at the bottom here. And then when you walk in, you see the kitchen. We have the spooky little ghost. This little piece that I thrifted, a set of dominoes from Columbia. Then we have the air fryer, microwave, and the kettle. And I got my drying rack to be in that color as well. We have a little lemon bowl and a strawberry vase that holds all my wooden spoons. In this cupboard here, I have my collection of vintage glasses. So there's some beautiful ones there. This one is one of my favorites. It's a little shot glass. Isn't it just gorgeous? Then we have the fridge. So I just have some of my favorite memories and some really cute prints and a coupon for haagen ice cream. <laughs> Then right next to the kitchen, we have the dining area. I just love how colorful it is. Right now I have the autumnal plants in the rainbow vase for decoration, but usually I'll put fresh flowers in there. We have a vintage salt and pepper shaker, a spooky ghost, a coaster from Subtle Art Studios, and some cloud candles, and a vintage music box. Little crochet placemats on the table. We have some yellow cushions on the chairs and this beautiful pillow I found in a discount store, which is just so cute. To the left of the dining area, we have the media table, which has the TV. I just have some of my favorite Monet paintings on loop because I feel like it adds like a cute little 
gallery wall space, a frame photo of my cousin and I on another colorful coaster. And then here we have more coasters. These are actually also Monet paintings. Um, and I have my angel candle on here, another candle as well. Citrus vase, which has some flowers that my cousin got for me from Holland. Then below the table, we just have a few more decorations. You can see some of my cameras and lamps and speakers in the background, as well as some little Polaroids. Then we have my tarot deck and one of my favorite books, The Fifth Agreement, and a book by one of my favorite comedians, Daniel Sloss, The Melting Salvador Dali Clock. Then in this section, we have a mirror trinket, some strawberry candles that are purely for decoration because I refuse to burn something this beautiful. That's the little media table and right behind it is the couch. I styled it with some colorful watermelon pillows. To the left of the couch we have potentially my favorite part of my apartment. <laughs> it's actually the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. It is my favorite piece of furniture that I have and of course I got a matching tissue box that reflects the beautiful colors that are already in the table so perfectly and it literally looks transparent. And I also have this little prism, which is kind of the same material, I think. This is what the prism does when it's held up to a camera. It just has its little place on a seashell on top of another Monet painting coaster with a little statue. I am definitely going to add like some more prints above here. I want to hang up my neon sign, which is actually over here. Then we have the lamp, of course, and the print wall. I have a little display shelf going on on the furnace because it's summer. Some framed prints on here, a little heart vase with some crocheted flowers in it, and tiny, tiny little pieces of furniture. Now, you may be wondering, Katya, why do you have such teeny tiny little pieces of furniture? sitting on top of your furnace? Um, that's a great question. My friend Valentina actually visited New York for a month and when she was here, she got me what might be one of the best gifts I've ever received. It's a tiny little DIY house where you put together tiny pieces of furniture with hot glue and paper. So until I finish actually building the house, the tiny little pieces of furniture are just going to live here. And I honestly really love how they look as decorations. Near the print wall, we have the rug, which marks the little office area. This is like a nice little additional chair. And then I have some of my decorative novelty pillows on here as well. And then we have the window area that has, oh, <laughs> the window area that has one of my Barbie dolls. Look at those details. Look at that chain. That is amazing. I love this doll. And of course, another plant. In this section is where I keep all my little crystals. Right across this window, we have the desk area. So this is where I have my iMac. I added some more decorations, another Greek statue, some crochet flowers, and all my little pens and stuff. Another Monet coaster, cause I'm so obsessed. And a little moon mouse pad. I have some more prints that I have to frame above my desk. But then I have this painting of some Georgian dancers that my cousin custom painted for me. I really love it so much. I feel like it brings all of the colors in this section together. And of course, star of the show, we have the chair with this orange butterfly pillow that I got from Society6. I just love that even though all of the pieces in this apartment separately are really cute and extra and maximalist and colorful, that when they all come together, they create this beautiful, extravagant, maximalist, colorful, dream. I'm super happy with the way that it turned out, but don't be fooled. I am nowhere near finished with this apartment makeover. I have so many more ideas and I would love to take you along on the journey with me. If you would like to join, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in part two. Bye!